Hi there, this is Patricia from patriciafenty.com and today I'm going to talk to you about a common problem that I see when people are making granny square blankets or bigger granny square projects where they're working in continuous rounds, round after round after round. But what I've noticed is that sometimes when people are working in the rounds, the blanket starts to go wonky and gets a little twisted and warped. And the main reason for this is tension. Now, incorrect tension can be caused by two things. It can be caused by the way you actually hold your crochet hook and your yarn and the way the yarn passes through your hand because this hand is meant to control your tension. I do have a tutorial on how to do proper tension and I'll put a link to that below. So that can be one problem. But the other problem can be the yarn, the choice of yarn. So this yarn that I use for this blanket, this is the Karen Cotton Cakes. It's a cotton yarn and it has a very nice smooth texture. And so when you're crochet, it's passing through your fingers nice and smooth. It goes onto the hook smoothly and you probably won't have problems with tension. And the reason why a blanket will warp is because the tension is too tight and the tension is moving in the same direction. It's being pulled in the same direction. And that doesn't matter whether you're left-handed or right-handed. When you work with a yarn that has a rougher texture, like this here, this is the Lion Brand Shawl in a Cake, and this is a lovely yarn, but this yarn has a little bit of friction to it. It's a little rougher type of yarn. So I noticed that my tension was tighter. So I just adjusted my tension using my hands because I, I can do that. But for some people that might be a little bit tricky. So it can be either the choice of yarn or the way you hold your tension or a combination of both. So what I'm going to do is show you something you can do if you have this problem that will prevent your blanket from twisting. So let's get started. All right. So when you make a granny square in rounds, when you join each round, you, you join it with your slip stitch at the end of your round. And to get to the next round, you have to slip stitch in the back of these stitches to get to your corner to start your next round. And this pattern that I have, that it does it a little differently, where you start in the corner with a chain six, and that counts as one double crochet and chain three. And then when you come around to join, you do two double crochets into the chain three space and then you do a chain six again. It's, it's a little different of a pattern, but what that does, it prevents you from having that bulky kind of work that can happen if you slip stitch along the top. It's just a preference. It's another way to do it. It's not right or wrong. So I just wanted to point to that. So what I'm going to show you is really how to do a basic granny square. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn the granny square with each row. So we'll start with a slip knot and in just do a regular granny square pattern. And I'm going to start with a chain six. You could do a chain five or a chain four. There's so many different ways to do granny squares. So join with a slip stitch into your top post of your beginning chain to create a ring and do your chain three. That counts as your first double crochet and then do two double crochets into the ring. And then you can either chain two or chain three for your corner. It depends on your project. I'm going to just do a chain two. And then you do another set of three double crochets and you work your way around doing your your first round with your 
four sets of three double crochets with your chain two or chain three in between. Just do that as normal. So I've done my four sets of three double crochets and here's my chain two and then I'll join this row by going a slip stitch into the uh, the third chain of the beginning chain three going under two posts with a slip stitch. Now this is where you would normally slip stitch over to this corner to begin your next round. But what we're going to do is you're going to turn your work and you're going to start working in the other direction. So turn your work and chain three. And that counts as your first double crochet. And then you'll do two double crochets into that chain two space. And then chain two for your corner or chain three, whatever you decide for your pattern. And then work another set of three double crochets into that chain two space. and then chain one and then work your corner as you normally would and work your way all the way around so i'll see you on the other side all right so just coming out of my last corner and do a chain one and then i'm going to join this round by going into the third chain of the beginning chain three and joining under both posts with a slip stitch. Uh, oops, uh, lost my yarn here. Just like that. Now you're going to turn your work and do a chain three. That counts as your first double crochet and then do two double crochets into that chain one space. And then chain one and work your next corner. And you're going to continue to work your round just like normal. So I will see you on the other side. All right, so just coming out of my last corner again, my last set of three double crochets and chain one, and then join your round by going into the third chain of your beginning chain three and joining with a slip stitch. And so you can see here what this does is you end up doing a row this way and a row this way and then a row this way and then a row this way. And what that does is it balances out the tension of the entire blanket. When you're doing small squares like this, the tension may not show up as a problem because after three or four rows, it's not enough to cause the square to start to go out of shape. But when you're doing a bigger project, this can be a problem. So this is a really great solution. So you would just carry on and joining into your next single crochet space here. So you just turn your work and as before, chain three, and that's your first double crochet and do a set of two double crochets into that chain one space. And then chain one and carry on your rounds as you normally would. And so the other nice thing about doing the squares this way is you don't actually have a right side or a wrong side. So you can see here when you do a granny square like this, there's an obvious right side, which is sort of where the stitches lay flat. And on the wrong side, the stitches are more sort of curled when you do a square this way you have one row with the flat type of stitch and one with with the round stitch and the whole scheme of things that will blend together and create a really pretty pattern so there you go
that's how you can resolve the issue of a granny square blanket going wonky and getting twisted and whether it's your tension or the yarn or both it doesn't matter if you do it this way this will resolve your problem so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel for more creative and inspiring videos thank you for joining me Thank you.